In this video we're just going to do example 3, retirement savings account and we'll make a table for the first four months and then answer these questions here. Okay, so let's begin. You have a retirement account into which your employer invests $80 at the end of every month and the account pays an APR of 3.75% compounded monthly. Make a table showing the balance of the account for the first four months. Okay, so we'll begin with the month or the end of the month, right? And then we'll look at the interest and the uh, deposit for that month. and then the balance, right? So, at the end of month one, we, so basically, once again, the idea is that you open a, er, er, you open this retirement savings account, and um, at the end of the month after you open it, then you put in $80, right? So, during the first month you don't get any interest because you've just put the 80 in at the end of month one, right? Anyway, and um, the balance is of course eighty dollars, right? Month two, we do get interest because we have eighty dollars in uh, at the end of month one, right? So what interest do we get? Can you do this interest for month two? Now, read this carefully. APR of 3.755% compounded monthly. What does that mean? It means we have to figure out the special monthly interest rate. Which is 3.75% divided by 12. What's that as a decimal? Well, it's of course 0 0.0375 over 12, which is 0 0.0375 over 12, 0 0.003125. So to calculate the interest for month two, we have to get this amount of of this rate of eighty, right? So we go zero point zero zero three two five three one two five times eighty, right? So I have that in my calculator. I'm just gonna press times and it'll say answer times then I'm going to press 80 and I'm going to press equals or enter and it'll be 0 0.25 okay so the interest you get at the end of month 2 is 0 0.25 or 25 cents and then of course at the end of month 2 you're also going to deposit $80 into the retirement savings account and now you have 80 from month 1 plus 80 from month two, right? Plus the interest. What does that make? One hundred sixty dollars twenty-five, right? So how about month three? What's in the account during month three? What's the interest? Again, you got to get your special monthly interest rate. That's three point seven five percent divided by twelve, right? And that gives us zero point zero zero three one two five times what? Times eighty or times one hundred and sixty twenty five? Which one and why? You get the interest in what's already in the account. This is what's in the account, 160.25, right? So you get interest times that. So let's see. 
0 0.003125 times 160.25 enter 0 0.50078 and so on let's just say that that is 0 0.5 we can round it to right or 0 0.50 50 cents right so um, then we the end of month three we're also going to deposit eighty dollars so what's in the account at the end of month three well you've got what was in there from month two don't you 160 25 plus what the eighty dollars you deposited at the end of month three plus what else 50 cents interest, right? If you add this up, that's $240.75, right? So figure out what's in the account at the end of month four all by yourself. Uh, press pause to give yourself more time if you need it, and then I'll do it, okay? Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now, so we need to get the interest on whatever's in the account at the moment which is $240.75 so we'll type that in 0 0.003125 times 240.75 so that's 0 0.7523 and so on and to the nearest cent 75 cents right 0 0.75 if you ran that to the nearest cent um, and we're also going to deposit eighty dollars at the end of month four and so what's in the account at the end of month four any idea well you got your whatever was in there at the end of month three this to begin with two forty seventy five right plus the eighty dollars extra you're depositing from your work plus 75 cents right if you add all that together what have you got 321 dollars 50 cents right okay so we'll go on to this question which is use the regular deposits formula to determine the balance in the account at the end of four months compare this to the final balance in the table so we're going to use the formula and see if we do indeed get three hundred and twenty one dollars fifty cents okay so we'll get out your um, notes have a look at your notes and let's look at that formula the regular deposits formula of course is the balance equals the deposit um, times 1 plus r to the power of t minus 1 all over the monthly interest rate r. So what we need to make sure to do properly is calculate what r is and calculate what t is and then we should be on the right track, don't you think? So the monthly interest rate r was of course the 3.75% divided by 12 which became 0 0.003125 and um, therefore by the way what is r plus 1 equal to or 1 plus r rather same thing that would be 1.003125 right and what is T equal to? How many deposits are we talking about in this question? So we we're what we're doing is we're investing eighty dollars at the end of every month. So there's going to be four deposits at the end of four months, right? Four deposits. 
Okay, so the balance equals that. So what is the deposit amount? It's going to be eighty dollars, right? Times now, what is one plus r, or r plus one? Same thing. One point zero zero three one two five, right? To the power of t. What's t? Four to the power of four. Then subtract one. Then divide by r. What's r? 0 0.003125, right? So we're going to calculate that and I'm going to do it with this little calculator just to show you how and the way I do this is I follow PEMDAS once again order of operations. If you follow your order of operations you're going to do your parentheses first well we're going to do the top of the fraction first obviously the bottom is already done so at the top of the fraction okay oops anyway gotta wait for that to turn on but I'll do it just like it just like it uh, a small calculator would do it you would do parentheses first right so you gotta go inside here now inside here we have an exponent and then we have a subtraction which comes first, exponent or subtract? Exponent, right? So inside there we go 1.003125 and find your exponent button to the power of 4 and press enter or equals or whatever you have. Calculate that. Now don't do anything, just leave that there because you've got to take that number you see and subtract 1. So just hit subtract 1 and your answer will subtract 1 and then press enter or equals and you get this number, right? So we have calculated what's inside the parentheses. Now we need to times it by 80. So just hit multiply by 80 and enter or equals and now you have this number 1.00469 and so on and that's what would be on the top of the fraction and then you just divide it by the bottom. So hit divide and 0 0.003125 press enter and we should get 321.503 1 etc round that to the nearest cent and what do you have $321.50 right because the 3 means it rounds down now compare that to the table. Is that the same number as the table? Magic, right? So once again, you're proving that the formula does indeed, whoops, the formula does indeed work, doesn't it? Okay. So please press pause and do this one. Use the regular deposits formula to determine the balance in the account at the end of four years. Press pause, do it yourself, make a mistake or two, that's great, and then check the video and um, figure out where you're making your mistakes so that when you go to do your homework you'll get it right okay so this is the time to press pause try it yourself and then check on the video to see if you're getting the right answer okay I hope you've pressed pause and tried it I'm doing it now so we've got our formula is the balance equals the deposit times 1 plus r to the power of t minus 1 all over r now um, what we've got to do is we know what R is, we know what R plus 1 is, it's the same interest rate, right? But the question is, what is T? Is T equal to 4 this time? In this question it was 4 months. In this question, 4 years. How many deposits is that in 4 years? Remember, what we're doing is we're putting $80 into the savings account every month. So it's four years for sure, but it's four times 12. That is 48 months in four years. 48 deposits altogether, right? So T equals 48. So our deposit is 80. 
and then it's times 1.003125 to the power of 48 then subtract 1 then divide by 0 0.003125 and again we can do a one line entry or we can do it step by step um, so I'll do it step by step just for fun 1.003125 um, to the power of 48 gives 1.161 subtract 1 press enter times it by 80 times by 80 press enter and then divide by the bottom 0 0.003125 press enter 4136.0091 so what we get is 4136.0091 if you round that to the nearest cent, what do you get? 4,136 dollars and no cent, right? It just round down. And you can put the point zero zero there if you want to, but you don't have to. So, last one, use the regular deposits formula to determine the balance in the account at the end of 30 years. Press pause, do the whole thing yourself and then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. Once again, we use the formula. We know what R is. It's the monthly interest rate. And we know what R plus 1 is. And the T is what we do not know. 30 years is how many deposits? Is it just 30? Is T equal to 30? Or are we doing a deposit every month? We're putting in, we're investing $80 every month, right? So T equals 30 times 12, which is 360 deposits. 360 deposits in 30 years, isn't it? So the formula is going to go like this 80 times R plus 1, or 1 plus R which is 1.003125 to the power of t which is 360 then subtract 1 then divide by r okay so calculate all of that just for fun I'm going to do this one in one line 80 times 1.003125 to the power of 360 hit the right arrow key, make sure to subtract 1 okay and I'll just press um, enter at this point and then I can divide by that or I guess you could divide now but we're gonna have some fractions where there's something to do in the top and the bottom so I'm just gonna keep a habit of calculating the top calculating the bottom and then dividing just to make sure 0 0.00 3125 and 53115.35 115.35092 round that to the nearest cent and what do you get? fifty three thousand one hundred fifteen dollars 35 cents, right?